Today I'm headed to a classic spot in the city. It's a chain called the Old Spaghetti Factory, and I can only imagine how much pasta I'm about to consume, but my body's ready for it. Let's go. There's no way you can come here without trying their spaghetti because, well, it is called the Old Spaghetti Factory. So when they start prepping, they start off by cooking 20 pounds of pasta at a time, and they serve it with six different sauces that you could choose from. But what tends to be most popular are their tomato sauces and their spicy meat sauce, which has beef inside. But if you're a little bit indecisive because of the amount of choices that you can have, you can also get your spaghetti with half and half sauce. The penne is a cream-based pasta, but it was surprisingly really light, and this is their dish that has their most loaded ingredients. Ingredients. So of course the pasta has chicken inside, but there's also a lot of veggies like mushrooms, there's peppers inside, and there's tomatoes. So they add the chicken in after, and the chicken is tossed in cracked black pepper, there's garlic, there's salt. But I would say this dish is very carb heavy, but you don't really have to feel that bad because of the amount of veggies that are inside. Now it is time to talk about my favorite dish, the chicken parm. Oh my god, the chicken was so juicy. I'm still thinking about it even though I ate it like 20 minutes ago. So the chicken is topped with tomato sauce. They add loads and loads of mozzarella and some parmesan on the top. Now this is typically served with spaghetti on the side, but the spaghetti that they serve it with is done a little bit differently because this is the only spaghetti that they actually toss in the sauce. Huh? Makes it a little bit special? I guess so. Half of the fun about coming here is the awesome decor that they have. So this place originally used to be a blacksmith shop. They bought it over in the 1970s, so a lot of the decor that they have is originally from the 1970s. They have an awesome carousel here, an awesome streetcar, and this is something that's universal across all locations. And I kind of want to see if that streetcar can get me to my next appointment on time, so see you later guys.